what about somebody like Dave Asprey in Bulletproof? I, he's a huge influence on a lot of people, um, but a lot of the science just sometimes isn't, isn't there to support a lot of the things he's saying. He, he's, he's a lot like Greenfield. He likes to just hype things and say things are crazy. Yeah, I mean, also he has his own anecdote like about the mold and all that stuff. And sure. He believes that. Uh, maybe. Uh, why doesn't he have like people doing studies then if it's like a real thing? Why doesn't he actually get real scientists? Because once you show something using science, then you can apply it to everybody. So yeah. if you're really passionate, in my opinion, like my nerdy opinion, like if you're really passionate about something working, you should try to get science to show it because then we can help everybody because then you convinced everybody. Sure. Whereas if you're just like saying it yourself and then you die someday, then it's lost there's, with you. There's no proof. It's yeah. lost with you. And then, and then it never gets into practice. I feel like if you're passionate about helping people and, and your legacy and living on all that stuff, you should try to show it with science. And then you will have so much more of an impact. And he doesn't care about showing it with science. And so that always makes me think. Judge people by their actions, not by their words. Yeah. I always makes me think, he's not really interested in that. He's interested in, like, in like the money. That's, that's how I think about it. Do you think it's, uh, it's, it's hard to say. Like, do you think it's like, is it just money? Or do you think like these people have, I think like most of the people that are on this list, they have like this, I think, it, I think they feel good about like helping people. And I think money, you know, money is part of it. But I don't, I don't know if they're in it like just for the money. I think there's some sort of like, uh, yeah. Like ego in helping people or something. Ego, yeah. Because e I know I, I have to admit, I get, I get a hell of a rush of just helping yeah. people. When I can help somebody change their diet or change their life, there's some sort of ego boost there, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, Dr. Oz, he's, he was a surgeon, right? Yeah. Um, and actually a really well-respected surgeon at Columbia. He's a professor of surgery at Columbia University, a really good medical school, like super good medical school. And uh, super, apparently super smart, really good at what he was doing. And so he's a smart man, but he's like, he peddles Snake stuff. You know? Snake oil salesman. Yeah. I want you to write it down. Garcinia Cambogia, because it may be the simple solution you've been looking for to bust your body fat for good. Now I've got the number one miracle in a bottle to burn your fat. Lightning in a bottle. It's a miracle flower to fight fat. Right, totally. Well, why? Um, he probably thinks that it's helping people. And probably if you sell people things, you give people hope. I think he actually has even said this. You want to give people hope? If you give people hope, you know, sometimes you can help people with that hope. Yeah. So maybe that's how they rationalize it. Maybe there's a part of that that's true. Um, but I don't want people to be doing things that are ineffective whenever they could be doing things that are effective. Sure. So that's kind of the, there's a trade, there's a weird, interesting question there about uh, quackery, even quackery itself, giving people fake treatments. Is yeah. there something, there's what something good about, about um, that. There's, it's not entirely bad, I'm not saying. The, and, and then like Dave Asprey says things like, I'm gonna live to be like 180 years old. Let's look, I'm gonna make it to at least 180 if I want to. And I think that offers like I a lot of people. I think he's full of crap there. He's well, I think just it offers a lot that. of people a lot of false hope that they can live longer if they become bulletproof right and i just think that there's zero evidence of that and i think it's a bad message to send to people he's marketing they're... himself yeah that's what I'm, i think he's consciously marketing he doesn't believe that but then again a lot of the things that he's come up with i've actually used and implemented in my diet and in my life to actually help me so it's like it's like i have a like a love hate relationship with these things well, like, well maybe what he's saying the things that are practical like do this to lose weight maybe yeah. you can listen to that stuff you don't even know necessarily need to know why but maybe it works because he's tried it yeah. Right? But then like the big claims about science are maybe more suspicious.